wondered if the aliens are really out there? Or even closer than you think? Some people have gone through transformations so extreme they seem out of this world. From eerie eyes to bizarre body modifications, their looks make you question where humans end and aliens begin. Let's dive into the world of the impossible. There's a saying that if you want to stand out, go all out. Well, Ethan Bramble took that to a whole new level. Hey, I'm Ethan, and today we're going to be covering up all my various many tattoos. At just 24, this Aussie was the world's youngest, most modified dude. His journey started at 11 when he stretched out his earlobes, and things only got crazier from there. Tell us a little bit about what you've had done to your body. So I'm obviously quite tattooed all over. I've had spiders put under my skin. With 80% of his body inked and over 40 wild modifications, including a split tongue, blacked out eyes, and even no belly button, it just kind of came to be, like it just happened. Ethan spent a whopping 15 grand transforming into something straight out of a sci-fi flick. Now the question is, why he do it? Well, he just dug being different. Safe to say, he nailed it. Freaks a lot of people out, but I like them, so that's all that really matters. Mariah, the Vampire Woman. Meet the Fang Lady, Mariah Jose Cristiana, AKA Mexico's Vampire Woman. She's not just a tattoo artist, but also a lawyer and a mother of four. Bueno, yo empecé con las modificaciones muy pequeña, a los 14 años. Primero empecé con el tatuaje, después me interesé por la modificación corporal y el piercing. Y bueno, pues así. Mariah didn't just embrace the darkness, she became it. Inspired by vampires and motivated by her past bad experiences, she transformed her body into a symbol of courage and freedom. Maria says her body modifications are an expression of the freedom she felt after years in an abusive first marriage. With fang teeth, titanium horns, and 49 body modifications, she holds the world record for the most tattoos on a woman, with 96% of her body covered with tattoos. Maria has invested over $35,000 in this transformation proving that strength comes in all shapes, even with fangs. Amber Luke. Her journey started at the age of 16 when she was diagnosed with severe clinical depression and getting tattoos was kind of like a therapy for her. Amber Luke, a 25-year-old Aussie, has turned her body into a living canvas with over 600 tattoos. Her journey began at 16 when she was battling severe depression, and getting inked became her therapy. But she didn't stop at tattoos. She went even further with cheek fillers, a tongue split, and even elf-like ears. However, things took a scary turn when her blue eye tattoos temporarily blinded her for three weeks because the artist went too deep. The reason why she went blind was because the artist went too deep in her eye with the needle. You'll be happy to know that thankfully she has her eyesight back now. Can you imagine going through that? But for Amber, this transformation was her way of reclaiming herself and finding a new sense of confidence. Now with her eyesight restored, she's still pushing her limits. Basically, she didn't like herself back then, so she decided to do something about it. Hats off to her, because it takes a lot of courage to do something like that. Slovain Henry. Slovain Elaine's story is straight up wild. Born in Paris, he didn't just get a tattoo or two. He covered his whole body from head to toe in just five years. But the more interesting thing is Sylvain is a primary school teacher. Imagine the looks on those kids' faces on day one. You'd think they'd be terrified, right? But no. After a few minutes with him, they warm up fast. He teaches them kindness, which this world desperately needs. He says the best part about teaching is that he can teach kids to grow up to be kinder adults, which in my opinion, is exactly what the world needs. And guess what? He's not stopping anytime soon. He has plans to keep layering more ink until he's a walking canvas. Ralph Bushels. My name is Rolf. I'm from Germany and I'm 62 years old. I'm the most pierced man in the world. Rewriting history is a familiar phrase, but rewriting the skin? Well, that was something unexpected. But Ralph surely rewrote it. Starting at the age of 40, Ralph took body modifications to a whole new level, with a staggering 516 changes under his belt. 
I started with my body modification end of 1999. From horn implants on his head to magnetic ones in his hands, and even six abdominal plants in his arms. This guy's practically a walking art exhibit. With 90% of his body covered in tattoos, he even had his eyeballs inked. Out of all those crazy mods, you know what really stung him? His palm tattoos. Sometimes pain's just part of the masterpiece. And Ralph? He's living proof. The eyes are in. They are black. They are very black. I like it. Reptile Woman I want people to not like me, because that means I don't have to be like you. We've all seen snakes shedding their skin and starting over, but a person shedding skin? That's a whole other level. Born Richard Tiamat ditched the corporate life of a vice president and morphed into something far from human, a dragon. After a tough battle with HIV and some deep personal issues, she decided she'd rather leave this world as a serpent than a person. I remember calling my mom. And I said, well, okay, I'm done with work. Are you gonna come get me now? She said, no. I said, oh, I know what's happened. So you can't come get me because your husband doesn't let you. With eight horns, a split tongue, green tattooed eyes, and even no ears because, hey, serpents don't have ears. I'm a serpent dragon and serpents don't have ears. Tiamat has dropped over 70K on her transformation. Now marching to the beat of her own scaly drum, She's a living, breathing dragon lady. I live right across the street. If you would like, you can come spend the night at my place. And I said, okay, I trusted this man. Michelle D. Donato. My name is Michelle D. Donato. I have probably over 90% of my body covered in tattoos. Michelle D. Donato didn't just dip her toes into the world of tattoos. She dove head first. A mother of three and tattoo artist, she's got 90% of her body inked. It all started at 21. Even though her first husband wasn't feeling her vibe, after they split, her second husband stepped in and covered up most of the past mistakes and gave her fresh new ink. And here's where things get wild. Michelle didn't stop at tattoos. She stretched her earlobes and got her eyeballs tattooed pink. Yeah, eyeball tattoos! Most would be worried about the risks, but not Michelle. She lives fearlessly and in full color. The last time I saw myself with no tattoos was probably around 10 years ago. Philip Royer, the vampire. My name is Philip, but my name is London. I'm an artist tattooer, I'm an artist maquilleur, and I'm an artist performer. And I transform my body to make a vampire. Philip Royer, a tattoo and makeup artist from Montreal, always dreamed of immortality. Being obsessed with vampires, their eternal youth and dark vibes, he began transforming himself into one. Now, with 70% of his body covered in ink, he stretched his ears, sharpened his fangs, and even reconstructed his jaw for that perfect vampiric look. But Philip's journey wasn't over. He plans to cover his entire body in tattoos and undergo extreme plastic surgery to fully embrace his gothic dream. But why would he do that? Well, he was bullied as a child. Philip never felt comfortable in his skin until his first face tattoo gave him a newfound confidence. J'ai fait des stretch pour les oreilles, j'ai fait des stretch pour mon restructuration du visage pour la mâchoire. Donc 60 dollars qui est tatoué pour l'instant. Human Satan. Meet Michelle Prado, a tattoo artist who's taken body modification to chilling new heights. Known as the Human Satan, Prado's body is an eerie masterpiece of black ink, horns, and subdermal implants. His eyes are tattooed, his tongue split, and his teeth sharpened into fangs. But that wasn't enough for him. No. Prado added silver tusks, removed his ears and nose, and just when you thought it couldn't get more extreme, he even chopped off his ring finger. Recently removed his... yeah. His ring finger is now gone. This guy's pain tolerance is off the charts. He's totally committed to sculpting his body into something extraordinary, pushing the limits of what's humanly possible. So, what's his next move? How far is he willing to go? Prado says he has a very high pain tolerance and that he's willing to go through it all in order to get the body he desires. The Parrot Man. Uh, my first question to you is, why? 
I just love their colours. I mean, because I've always been brought up around animals, I get a couple of macaws. I, um, I had the like, pension money, body modification, because I got to know somebody. How much would you do for your pet's love? No matter where you've been, I bet you couldn't come close to this person. Ted Richards, aka the Parrot Man, has taken his love for parrots to a whole new level. It all started with feather tattoos on his face. But Ted didn't stop there. He went on to tattoo your eyeball blue and the other red, then removed the flaps of his ears, reasoning that parrots don't have them. Unfortunately, this led to some hearing loss. His transformation includes split tongue, horn implants, and a beak-like nose. Despite the challenges, Ted feels a burst of happiness each time he looks in the mirror and sees his parrot-inspired self. After all, he's not just mimicking a bird, he's flying in his own colorful world. Shapeshifter. I've been doing this for 10 years. Y yes, yes. Yeah. 10 years. But right. this is the first time I brought. Got it. This is the first time it's going to be seen outside of Japan. Yes. Looks like skinwalkers are finally getting recognition. In the clip, one magician slaps a dog mask on the other, who then magically morphs into an actual dog, while the mask wearer himself turns into a zebra. Crazy, right? Netizens were losing their minds. Some thought it was skinwalkers showing off their spooky skills, while others called it an epic illusion. After a bit of digging, it turned out the whole thing was just a clever trick, with no skinwalkers involved. So while the video might seem straight out of a supernatural tale, it's really just some top-notch editing skills. Richie, the permanent clown. Everybody always asks me, why, why why, did you become a clown? Why? My grandfather took me to the circus, Barley and Bailey's Ringling Circus. We went backstage, I saw this clown on a bucket. He started juggling, and I was fascinated by... We all love circuses, but for this man, he took his love for the circus to a whole new level. Meet Richie, aka the permanent clown. After meeting a clown backstage as a kid, he was hooked on the joy clowns brought to people's faces. But instead of juggling for fun, Richie decided to make his happiness a permanent thing, literally. He tattooed his entire face to resemble a clown, complete with a split tongue and silicone-enhanced eyebrows to amp up the look. It was not just about the makeup, it was about living as a clown every day. After all, when life's a circus, why not be the star? Magneto Meet Magneto. No, not from the comics, a real-life one. At 72, Magneto isn't just a name, it's a lifestyle. Once a regular post office worker, he decided that blending in wasn't for him. He got his first tattoo at the age of 46, a teardrop under his eye, and from there, continued getting more ever since. Starting with a simple teardrop tattoo at 46, things escalated quickly. Now, 98% of his body is inked, but it doesn't stop there. With 17 body implants, some of which are magnetic, Magneto can actually attract small objects. Yep, you read that right. He's got real-life magneticism. His mods also include reshaped ears, piercings, and even tattooed eyeballs. Magneto lives by his own rules, proving that age is just a number when it comes to standing out. In case you're wondering how he got the name Magneto, well, that's thanks to his body modifications. He has 17 implants, and some of those are magnetic and could attract small objects. Blacked out. Eli Incorporated isn't just tattooed, he's covered in ink from head to toe, pushing the limits of what the human body can hold. Eli wants to push all boundaries and take things as far as possible, finding out just how much ink the human body can physically hold. His obsession began when his uncle flaunted a tribal tattoo, and by 17, Eli had his first piece. But that was just the start. In a few short years, Eli started blacking out his entire body, layer after layer, to the point where there was almost no skin left. Alongside his ink, he's also stretched his nose nose, ears, and lips, with tattooed eyeballs to top it off. But why is he doing all this? Well, his mission is to become the most inked man in history, no matter what it takes. His goal is to be the most tattooed man in history, which would mean having more tattoos than the current record holder, Lucky Diamond Rich. Farrah Frey, the Pharaoh Farrah Flawless, a body modifier, inscribed her ink skin with the very canvas that she hid her inner struggles on. Gender dysphoria has had her standing at a crossroads, 
either change her body to align with her inner self or go along with another different darker path. So she covered her body in bold black ink and striking face tattoos that acted as a shield from her insecurities. But then, over time, Farrah began to second-guess many of those decisions. The more she became comfortable with herself, the more she realized these decisions had been taken too impulsively. Now, she's gradually removing the tattoos, getting closer to her truest self. Horned Beauty Imagine waking up one day with a horn growing from your head. Sounds unreal, right? But for 87-year-old Yang Jun, from a quiet village in China, it was no fantasy. What started as a small, itchy mole on her forehead back in 2007 slowly turned into a 5-inch horn. Local remedies only seemed to fuel its strange growth. For years, she lived with this mysterious mark which made even doctors stunned. Then, in 2015, her daughter accidentally cracked the horn while washing Yang's hair, which caused it to grow even bigger. Thankfully, doctors diagnosed it as a cutaneous horn and suggested a surgical procedure. But later, the procedure was not executed due to her old age. 99.98 Coverage can you imagine being 99.98% covered in tattoos? Well, that's the reality for Esperance Ferranza, a big tattoo enthusiast. She's gone all out with intense mods like inked tongues, gums, and a split tongue. I have uh, the five implants in my face that were done over three sessions in Phoenix, Arizona. And then I've had my ears, uh, three different pieces of my ears removed. Her face is decked out with five implants, and. She's had multiple ear piercings and removals over the years. Each piece of body art tells a story from her nomadic life. Despite the distress and healing, it's all worth it for the ever-evolving masterpiece that is her body. And the craziest part? She's not stopping anytime soon. Every new layer is a step closer to her ever-evolving bodysuit. Probably one of the riskiest mods I have is the sclera tattooing. That was a pretty intense modification. I've also done ink staining in my tongue and my gums. Ricosa Tattoo Artist Ricky Sosa is transforming into a real-life orc, and he's loving every minute of it. At 44, this tattoo artist has more than 80% of his body inked, with blackouts and a growing list of body modifications. Rico got his first tattoo at the age of 15, and he got his first body modification when he was 35 years old. From his split tongue and modified nose to subdermal implants and tusk-like teeth, Rico's vision is nothing short of otherworldly. His eyeballs are inked, and his recent addition is $500 tusk implants, which made his orcus dream even closer. Supported by his partner, who also has his own mods, Rico's journey is far from over. According to him, if given the chance, he'd walk this path again in another life. He says he loves the way he looks, and if he could do it all over again in another lifetime, he would. Keith Gordon You know how sometimes you make a decision only to regret it later? Well, Keith Gordon went down that road and it cost him $25,000 just to undo a bunch of tattoos from his teenage years. But the real kicker comes when, after going clean skin to land an office job, he had a change of heart and started getting inked all over again. For five years, he kept adding new tattoos every month because of his OCD. His wife thinks it can be embarrassing with all the states, but she doesn't want to lose a good father and a husband over tattoos. Keith enjoys the attention and thinks it's cool to stand out. Keith loves the attention of being different and loves showing other people that it's okay to be different. Victor Perlotta Victor Perlotta, he took body modification to a whole new level. With 95% of his body inked, his journey started at 13 and never stopped. He had 80 different artists from around the world work on his tattoos, but that's just scratching the surface. At one point, his face had 40 piercings, and now he rocks and has a star implant on his forehead, split tongue, stretched ears, and even a snip from the top of one ear, and his eyeballs, one black, one yellow. According to him, the most difficult tattoo was his tongue pigmentation. He could barely breathe for hours. Donnie Snyder Ever heard of a forklift driver turning his whole body blue? That's Donnie Snyder for you. Struggling with low self-esteem and discomfort in his own skin, 
Donnie decided to make a dramatic change. Back in 2017, his sister gave him a blue ink tattoo on his leg, and he was hooked. He took that one splash of color and transformed it into an entire blue bodysuit. This bold move wasn't just about aesthetics, it gave him a huge boost of happiness. Sometimes a splash of color is all it takes to turn life around. If having bright blue skin makes Donnie happy, then he's on to something major. Real Life Tigress Katzen Hobbs had this crazy dream since she was a kid. She wanted to turn herself into a real-life tiger. When she was nine and living in Japan, the idea really stuck with her. By the time she turned 18, she decided to go for it and ended up getting bold stripes covering 90% of her body. It took over 160 tattoo artists and sometimes 23 of them were working on her at the same time. And let me tell you, it hurt like crazy. She even passed out a few times. But for Katzen, it was totally worth it. Now she's a tattoo artist and performer, embracing her inner tiger and believing it represents a deeper kind of beauty. Her stripes are more than just on the surface. They tell a story of change and being your own fierce self. She's had work done by 160 different artists, including 23 at the same time, saying the pain was so intense that she actually fainted a few times. Zebra Man Horace Riddler wasn't your average guy. He was a legend. Born into wealth, he served twice in the British Army before ditching it all in 1922 to chase the limelight. But it wasn't just fame he was after, he wanted to stand out. In 1927, Horace took things to the extreme, covering himself in bold zebra-like stripes, earning him the name the Great Ami. He didn't stop there, he stretched his ears and even had his teeth sharpened for an extra eerie touch. Ami's sideshow act became legendary and shocked audiences worldwide. Tattoos were taboo back then, but he wore them like a badge of rebellion respect where it's due. Ami's stripes made him an unforgettable force in a world not ready for him. Living from 1882 to 1965, he deserves massive respect. Because back then, tattoos were an absolute taboo, and having as many as he did was absolutely unheard of. So, respect's there. Eyeball Tattoo Kat Gallagher wanted to stand out, so much so that she went for the ultimate step, tattooing her eyeball. Yep, you heard that right. But what she woke up to was a nightmare. Her eye was swollen shut, leaving her in a blur. Despite steroid drops and antibiotics, the infection continued, and her vision stayed hazy. The real kicker is she might lose her eyesight for good. Now, Kat's speaking out, warning everyone to steer clear of ocular ink injections. I just really, really hope that people take this as a lesson, and that's all, I'm, all I want. I learned it. I had to learn it the hard way, and I would hate to watch anybody else go through anything like this again. As she puts it, it's a risky game of beauty, and in this case, the house won. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. Pedro Kenzo once Pedro Kinzo started, there was no turning back. A Brazilian tattoo artist, Pedro's body was over 60% inked with some wild modifications to boot. From silicone implants to his head to screw-on devil horns, Pedro's transformation was straight out of a dark dream. His blacked-out eyeballs and split tongue set him apart, but his most difficult mod? Modifying the parts of his ears. What started as street graffiti led him to tattoos, and now he was aiming for 90 to 95 percent of his body covered in ink. Despite the fear and criticism he faced, Pedro remained unbothered, living life on his terms. Julia Ganesso Meet Julia Ganesso. She was once known as the most tattooed woman in the world. She had a rare condition called porophia, which caused her skin to get scarred from sunlight. Julia turned to tattoos to hide the scars, starting with her legs and eventually covering 95% of her body, including her face. As she got more tattoos, her obsession grew. Although she became a record holder, the tattoos were more than just art to her. They were like armor. In her final year, she tried laser removal, but unfortunately passed away at 60. Her legacy of ink, it's there to stay forever. Zombie Boy 
Rick Ganest, better known as Zombie Boy, turned tragedy into art. After being diagnosed with a brain tumor and facing his own mortality, Rick decided to transform his body into something truly unique, tattooing bones across his skin until he resembled a walking skeleton. This haunting look landed in him roles as a model, and he became a sensation after starring in Lady Gaga's music video. From modeling for a fashion line to acting alongside Keanu Reeves, Rick's eerie transformation made him un forgettable. Sadly, his life was cut short at 32 after a fatal fall, but he left a mark that will last forever. Larry the Leopard Larry the Leopard didn't just wear his spots, he lived them covering his entire body in leopard patterns. Larry claimed these tattoos gave him animalistic powers, like running faster, crawling in the dark, and even hunting. He got his first tattoo at 20 and kept going, refreshing his ink every few months. But his wild transformation didn't come without a price. His family disowned him for 10 years before finally speaking to him again. His family now tries to understand, but Larry's motive was simple. He was tired of living by society's rules. So, like a leopard, he created his own path. The Checkered Man Matt Gone, the checkered man, turned his body into a living canvas, with 99% of it covered in tattoos from over 140 artists. But it's his bold, checkered face that really stops people in their tracks. Why checkers? Well, according to him, simply because no one hates them, Matt's ink doesn't stop at the surface either. He's tattooed the inside of his mouth, throat, and even his own eyeballs, warning others not to try it at home. He was born with several defects, including missing a kidney, and part of his bicep, but Matt used tattoos to embrace his body, hide his scars, and create a life he liked. Wahlberger Pascal Wahlberger Pascal, better known as Toxo, wears his life on his skin. This Swiss tattoo artist and father has covered 80% of his body in ink, with numerous modifications like eyeball tattoos, cut-off earlobes, and 12 implants in his arms. So far, he has spent over 80,000 Swiss francs, and he's far from done. While some restaurants refuse to serve him and bars have banned him, Toxo couldn't care less. He didn't do this for anyone else. His body is his story, and no one else's opinion opinion matters. After all, don't judge a book by its cover. What's outside doesn't tell the whole tale. Chiara the Queen now, this 19-year-old girl named Chiara from Rome didn't just pierce her skin, she pierced through society's expectations. With over 40 modifications, including tattooed eyeballs, six subdermal implants, and 20 facial piercings, she began transforming herself at just 11. Her bottom lip? She stretched that one herself, bit by bit. While strangers gawk and snap photos, Chiara shrugs it off, reminding them that respect goes a long way. Her modifications aren't a about turning heads. They're about embracing her inner self. Well, that's the kind of spirit we should all have. Matthew Whelan Meet Matthew Whelan, one of Britain's most inked men. He started getting inked when he was just 16, and he spent around $40,000 on it over the years. This dude went all in. He even got his nipples removed so he could have more space for tattoos. And that's not all. He got his eyeballs tattooed black, split his tongue, and changed his name to Body Art. But things got a bit crazy in 2015 when he had to get rid of a knuckle duster implant that caused his arm to split open. Despite the risks and challenges for Matthew, it's not about showing off or hiding. It's just his passion and lifestyle. At the end of the day, it's all about what makes him happy. Mr. Skullface Meet Sandro, aka Mr. Skullface, a German guy who's turning heads with his extreme body mods. He's dropped over $7,000 to transform himself with black eyeball tattoos, subdermal implants in his forearms and hands, and even horns on his head. His latest and most shocking mod was when he removed his ears and now keeps them in a jar. While these drastic changes have impacted his relationships and career, he's sticking to his decisions. He's advising others to really think it through before making some similar extreme changes. But for him, it's all about being true to himself. No regrets, no looking back, just a total and unapologetic transformation. Isabel Verley Isabel Verley, the tattoo legend, made history as the most inked senior citizen. It all began in 1986 at a tattoo convention when she got her first ink at 40. She was hooked and went on to cover her entire body from head to toe. 
Her most talked about tattoos? Well, they're on the front, back, and sides of her head. Those tattoos are all over her head, and she's got a bold attitude and a great sense of humor. Isabel's tip for anyone considering getting inked? Be absolutely sure, because once it's done, it's there for good. So if you're ready to take the plunge into the tattoo world, make it worthwhile. Jess Sorez Jess Sorez isn't your typical makeup fan. She puts an eerie, alternative spin to Japanese fashion, blending cute vibes with tattoos, piercings, and a touch of the spooky. Every day she treats her makeup like a canvas, choosing different colored contacts and eerie looks and creating a new face that's both chilling and charming. It's more than just a hobby for her, it's a daily ritual, a way to push boundaries and express her true self to the world. Not everyone understands it, but Jess welcomes the stars and questions. For her, it's about connecting with her purpose, one brush stroke at a time. She knows who she is and she's not looking back. Most Tattooed Couple And joining us now, we've got uh, Curly and we've got Jackie, and there they are, they're together as a couple. And when you guys met, did you think, oh, he looks nice, she looks nice, so did you think, nice bit of ink going on there? <laughs> Meet Curly and Jackie, an inked couple with a really interesting story. When they first met, Curly was already covered in tattoos, while Jackie was just starting out at 23. She initially didn't like tattoos, but now she's totally into them, seeing them as a unique form of art. Jackie's not a fan of tattoos, so she hasn't gotten many tattoos. On the other hand, Curly's almost done with his tattoo journey, and he's not planning on stopping anytime soon. Taking inspiration from the most heavily tattooed people in the world, even though her family and society have mixed reactions, they fully embrace their art. What should people really consider before they go down this road? Well, you've got to think about your job. It opens doors and shuts doors getting yeah. heavily tattooed. And some doors you might not want them open, but you've got to be aware that, that some people will find it uh, unacceptable and won't want you in their workplace, for one. Devil Man. Be yourself, but make it devilish. And Diablo Delfner took that quite literally, dropping 17K to look like the devil. He started with Teflon horn implants in his forehead, Next came fangs, a split tongue and those eerie red tattooed eyeballs. With tribal ink covering his face, Diablo says he's not satanic, it's just that everything else was already done. His goal? To stand out from the rest and embrace body modifications as his personal journey, though he admits finding love isn't easy with his look. But you know what? He's not backing down. After all, every devil deserves their day in the sun. Tattooed Baby Ever seen a baby with more ink than your average adult? Baby Traylon had his first tattoo at just six months old, thanks to his mom, Shamika, a fashion designer with a love for body art. Each tattoo marks a milestone in his life, turning him into a viral sensation with over 1.5 million followers on social media. But with fame comes backlash, and Shamika faces heat for her choices. Haters call her a bad mom, but she's not backing down. In her eyes, being a good mom means cheering your kid on no matter what. And for Traylon, ink runs in the family. Alien Caterpillar All right, so Rowan found something really cool that he wants to show us. All right, where's Ivan? A teen boy named Rowan found the weirdest critter in the yard. It was seriously something else. Let me see, what is, what? What is that thing? The whole family gathered around with eyes wide as he showed off this bizarre creature with what looked like alien vibes. It's like, it's, it looks like a part alien or something. I don't know what it is. It looks like a caterpillar. I think it's a caterpillar. It was like a caterpillar, but not quite. Everyone was puzzled as to whether it could be a new pet or a potential monster. He even picked it up with caution, and they all debated if it was some new Texas species or a trick from Virginia's wild side. The netizens were speculating if it could be cleverly crafted. What do you think it might be? Share your thoughts down below. Here, here you go, little guy. We hope you like it. Consistent progression. Robert Hartster's face is like a living canvas, and each artist adds a new stroke. It all started in 2009 when his mugshot showed a clean face, just another guy. 
but as time went on, every trip back to the station brought fresh ink, slowly creeping across his face and neck. It was like his rap sheet and tattoo count are in a race. Rumor has it he's not done with the artwork yet. Will we see more? Only time or another mugshot will tell. But his ink seems to grow just as fast as his reputation. Creepy, right? Open Discussion Anthony Lafrito, famously known as the Black Alien, took body modification to extraterrestrial extremes. From a young age, he was fixated on transforming the human form. The turning point came while working as a security guard when he realized he wasn't truly living. Driven by a new, profound resolve, he blacked out his entire body in ink, tattooed his eyeballs, split his tongue, and added multiple subdermal implants. Each step brought him closer to his alien vision and he claimed it made him the happiest he'd ever been. But hold on to your space helmets. He's only about 30% finished with his otherworldly journey and is planning to go beyond these extremes. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.